Hi everyone, my name is Mike. I'm a co-founder at Zapier and we've built a tool which enables other products and services that you use online to talk to each other. And the really cool part is that anybody can set these things up. Today I'm really excited to show you how Google Glass integrates with Zapier now. Uh, anyone who's used Google Glass up till now knows that it's somewhat limited in what it can do. Um, up until today, in fact, it's only supported about 12 or so apps. Now that Google Glass integrates with Zapier, it supports over 200. Let me show you a little bit about how that works. So what I'm looking at right now is my, uh, my Zapier dashboard, which shows some live zaps that I already have set up. A zap is a combination of a trigger and an action. So whenever uh, a zap is essentially saying whenever something happens in one service, I'm going to take some action in another. Uh, one demo I thought which would be really cool for the video is to show um, a, a use case that I've always wanted with Google Glass, which is uploading photos I take to Dropbox. And of course, you can swap out Dropbox with any other service that we support, such as SkyDrive or Box or Basecamp or Yammer or any other a service that supports file uploads. Let's go ahead and uh, start creating this app and see what it looks like. So in step one, I'm actually going to decide what this app does. So on the left hand side, the trigger, I'm always going to have Google Glass in this case, and I'm going to choose the trigger of when I share a new item with Zapier. On the right hand side for the demo, I'm going to do Dropbox, and I'm going to choose the action that uploads a new file to Dropbox. Steps two and three are adding accounts. I've already done this, so I'm just going to click through it. Step four would allow, is, enables me to filter down the photos that I take if I didn't want to upload every single photo to Dropbox. Say, for example, I only wanted to upload photos that I had captioned with a certain word. Uh, for the demo, I'm going to have all photos get uploaded. And step five is really where the magic happens. So this is where you get to map fields from the trigger to the action. Uh, for a file use case like this, really I only need to map the file bit. Right now, I'm actually going to, uh, Zapier is giving me the chance to take a photo and actually use real sample data. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Okay, Glass. Take a picture. Okay, I took a picture of my laptop and it's on glass. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click share here. And I'm gonna share it with this app. This app was automatically created when I started making this app. All right, it's shared. Sometimes it takes a little bit of time for the photo to make its way from Glass to uh, Google servers and over to Zapier. Let's see how quickly this happens though. Perfect, there we go, it already found it. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish and close. And this is actually all the data that I just got from that photo. The only bit that I'm really interested in for this demo is the actual file, the item files. I can of course choose a name or choose to override, but I'm not gonna do that. And of course I could choose where I want the photo to wind up in Dropbox, but again, I'll probably just leave it in the root directory for now. Step six, I can actually try out this app that I just built. So again, here's the photo I took. Here's what it would look like showing up inside of Dropbox. That data looks fine, so I'm gonna go ahead and send it. It'll take just a second, and we'll get a success message here saying that it was sent. If I switch over to Dropbox, you can see that the photo I just took already shows up. There it is. All right, so if I switch back to Zapier now, I'm pretty much done. The last thing is just naming it, which I'll just do call class to Dropbox, and I'll make that zap live. And we're done. Uh, now every single photo I take, if I share it with that zap, will automatically get uploaded to Dropbox. Um, and of course, the thing to remember is that was one use case and we support 235 other apps that you can mix and match the triggers for. Uh, I showed you in this demo a, a, a trigger on Google Glass. We also support an action which allows you to send data and images to Glass itself instead of uh, triggering off of things that were taken from Glass. Uh, this is really cool for consuming more content. Um, right now, you're probably used to consuming text messages or emails on Google Glass. This could allow you to consume things like um, RSS feeds, or even getting notified when things happen, like if your name gets mentioned inside Campfire or HipChat or some other team chat tool like that. Going into the future, of course, we're gonna keep adding more and more services onto Zapier. Um, and I'm really excited to see 
what use cases people come up with because that's always amazing. I can, I can always come up with a few use cases myself, but it's always fun to put the power in other people's hands and see what they come up with. So if you come up with something awesome, let me know and I'll feature it. Thanks guys.